This program is brought to you by Cable Franchise Vs and generous donations from viewers like you. Good evening and welcome back to Byline. This is our public affairs show here at Amherst Media. And we pulled the show together with the help of the Amherst League of Women Voters, uh, who helps us with our programming. They, of course, were the uh, generators of this show along with Amherst Media last year. And it's part of our effort to help uh, our friends and neighbors here in town uh, understand and follow the transition we're going through from our old form of town government to our new form of town government as a result of the charter that uh, was approved um, not so many months ago. And uh, we bring in guests from town government and others uh, sometimes who are working on things that intersect with town government. And today we have the chair of our Transportation Advisory Committee, yes, Aaron the TAC Hayden. for short. Yeah. TAC for short. Yeah. And uh, Aaron, you're no stranger to town politics and, and engagement. Uh, you've been around the track a few times. Yeah, well, it's, um, it started uh, with an invitation to um, provide technical support to the planning board many, many, many years ago. And, and uh, that, of course, lasted for seven years. And a little stint in town meeting and the select board. And um, in the course of being, um, well, in all, the course of all of that, um, I'd maintained an interest, and I uh, was working with uh, what, when those days, it started out as a pedestrian and bicycle committee, and became the pedestrian and bicycle and some other things committee. Um, so alternatives to our cars. <clears throat> alternatives to cars. Specifically, it was an advocacy group. We were, okay. we were interested in uh, assuring that the, the needs of the, uh, for bicyclers and walkers were also being recognized in you know the workings of was it part of the government or people outside of the government trying to influence no it was it, it was a part of the government it was it was a it was a, a, a committee we had okay. open meeting law and all the rest of it. it we had appointments from um the town manager at the time and the mm -hmm. select board i can't remember exactly what the makeup was it's been a while um but yeah so we were um and we were working in parallel with the public works committee whose focus was pretty much on things public works the roads the fix bridges. the roads the bridges and everything else yeah. and um, as time went on this is now this is all before pre-charter of course yeah, yeah. and um, at some point it was understood that the work of the two committees might be more effectively handled sort of in Together. one place and and, mm -hmm. and the idea that um, that new committee, that newly constituted with expanded scope committee, could advise the um, the owners of the public way. At that time, it would have been the select board, and mm -hmm. today it's the town council um, to give advice and try to figure out how to solve all the problems regarding the transportation along the public way. Specifically, it's of course so. This one way. group is now trying to integrate all the thinking and the policy making around. Uh, transportation in general, whether you're talking about motorized vehicles of various sorts or bicycles yeah. Yeah. on foot, etc. Uh, and but you are, you're only advisory; you don't have decision-making power. Well, we we will make decisions, of course, but no uh, decisions about the advice that we right. would give to. And so um, you you do decide things, and when you decide them, somebody else has to say. We'll go along with that, or and we're going to do it. it. Please. Yeah, exactly. Or change it. Got it. So the the um, uh, so backing a little bit up is that there are uh, in forming this committee and doing all the work. There's um, a transportation study, which is more or less our guidebook. It's mm -hmm. it's on the web. You can see it underneath the transportation advisory committee. Did you do website. it, or did somebody else do it? Um, um, I can't remember the name of the consultant, but okay. they worked very closely with a a group that was formed out of pedestrian and bicycle committee and public works it was okay. a, a working so it was group. supported by the town it was supported by the town and ultimately presented to town meeting and so it is it is um, a report that kind of identifies issues with transportation in town okay um, and um, I always refer back to page 44 there's a very nice matrix there that shows 
all of the issues and suggested timelines for fixing them. Um, How old is that document? <clears throat> Many years or a few? Four or five years now. Okay, so um, it's, still, it's still vibrant. It is still vibrant, and it's certainly something that we think about. Okay. Um, since then, subsequent to that, there was a, an add-on, a, a realization that while we were, had a good understanding or a sense of a good understanding of transportation issues in town, there was no good mechanism for moving off of the, the ideas um, into, you know, Real plans and Real planning, action. Yeah, sort of action. What yeah, are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. How are you going to budget for it? How are you going to take decisions about what goes yeah. next? Okay. Um, and that is that is where the uh, the Transportation Advisory Committee was formed. The, Got um, it. That's, so there to was take a those report. ideas and that study, those planning elements, mm -hmm. and turn them into things that could be actionable, yeah, act things on. that would be acted upon by somebody in town who had the authority to act on them. Exactly, okay. and, and there are there were several different models that we looked at. You know, our problems in Amherst are not unique. They're, you know, all of the other towns in well, in the country, in the world, are dealing with these things. The question, really, is how to, how to do it here. You know, mm -hmm. given right. you know, um, um, given our form the values, of government, given the values, the values of the are, town and the what people are the Amherst in the town. Ideas? Yeah. What are the goals for the town? Okay. Each town has a different. Yeah. way they're going. Um, so the, 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 uh, eventually there was a little advisory committee that said this is the model. Transportation Advisory Committee is the model that seems to fit Amherst the best and so, mm -hmm. and so here we are. Um, and since then, um, you know, as we've been doing our work, and you're going to ask me about that in a second, um, we have realized... You read my mind. Yeah, it's funny how that happens, yes. <laughs> Um, we realized that we really weren't talking about the two networks that everybody thinks of. Everybody thinks about cars and not cars. Yeah. And um, in fact, in trying to untangle the issues and solve the problems of how to deal with the roadways, um, there are five networks that we are that we are thinking about and have mm -hmm. to be accommodated. Um, there's the the um, you know, cars, of course, and that's most of us interact with our transportation network in our car going from here to there. Um, related to the cars are, um, and, and just basic transportation is, is mass transit. Mm -hmm. So a bus stop is a significant thing. A bus, mm -hmm. uh, you know, accommodating a bus buses. A bus route, a bus. A bus route. <coughs> a bus stop. These are all important things that you really do need to plan for and think mm -hmm. about when yeah. you're changing a road. Um, there's also commerce. Um, the trucks that are delivering, you know, our groceries or our, you know, laundry or whatever it is um, downtown, they need to be accommodated as well. And their requirements are different than people parking for, to go in and visit a store. Their mm -hmm. parking is, you know, any event. Um, and then there is uh, the bicyclers mm -hmm. and bicycle lanes and, you know, that's you know, how they're accommodated. And last but not least, um, are the pedestrians. Mm -hmm. And um, so in developing, in thinking about all of those networks, um, you know, we understand, and I'm hoping that we're forming our advice um, in understanding the relationship between them. So one of the, um, the projects that we've completed and presented to the, um, the town council last year was um, a complete streets policy. And so our work, um, now, explain I, what a complete streets policy is about. Well, where, where did that term come from? The um, the complete streets concept is um, um, actually there's a federal there's there's a national understanding of complete streets. The state Massachusetts has a complete streets program that offers um, assistance to towns um, who want to adhere to that complete streets concept. A complete street is one that accommodates. Now they really it are concentrating. It integrates the transportation needs of all five all of them. All five of them. They really consider okay. four, but in creating the, <clears> the Which the one do they leave policy. out? They leave out the, um, commerce. They leave out the trucks. Just okay. just people, you know, sort okay. of mix that in with. Yeah. But um, so um, the state says if you're going to be a complete street town and you are eligible for the, the support to do these kinds of projects, you need a policy. Well, 
Okay. Yeah, we can. We, we can know the group to put that draft together. And so we um, we spent a number of months understanding what the state required because we really do want to make sure that whatever we came up with satisfied the state, of course. Mm -hmm. But as importantly, and really where most of our work um, was, uh, it was in interpreting those requirements to Amherst. Amherst is not. Yeah, is, is unique in many ways. I mean, we have some very special challenges here as far as transportation is involved. Uh, something about a large school down the street that doubles our population during the school year, uh, mm -hmm. being a significant part of that, which is yeah. unusual and unique to us. But every community <clears throat> has their unique aspects and, and yeah. elements. And yes. so, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and maybe it's a, a little bit, uh, you know, we have, I don't know. Yeah, you've highlighted <laughs> a, at least one of, our one of our situations. And there are other communities in the state that have large college populations, so, so they might have some of the same. Yeah. And, and you know, while I, I do so it's not a pejorative. uniqueness, it's not, yeah. Yeah, it's not go. a pejorative, it's, 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 it's the reality of our community and how it's it's comprised and and who's here and when they're here and how they're here and, and, and then the yeah. values that undergird the community. Well, exactly, and that's that's uh, reading my mind now. Okay. The the Tell other us about that. the other part of uh, the complete streets policy and and this these ideas really get into everything that we do at some point. Yeah. Our complete streets policy includes recognition for. Um, uh, conserving open space and you know, natural resources, okay, yeah. which is not a requirement, but something that we certainly that we value. Sorry about that. Yeah. Something that we value. Yeah. Um, handicapped access, uh, trees. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we really do want to. You know, we understand, we appreciate the support that the public shade tree committee gets, mm -hmm. and want to be part of that. So, that's that was one project that that we have done that kind of folded all of those things mm -hmm. in. Um, Another thing that we're working on um, uh, is a, um, a tool, trying to create a tool that will help us guide um, our advice, our advising. Uh, we, one of our, the functions that we're trying to encourage, trying to in, you know, grow, is our engagement with the public. So, you know, ideas, concerns, um, observations that um, you know our neighbors would have about uh, transportation. You know, we're really anxious to get them and and you know sort of develop our advice based on that. Um, so in receiving those you know letters, comments, if people are invited to the meeting. Of course, do come on Wednesdays, uh, Wednesday evening. Um, we've been working on. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't want to be too uh, use too many buzzwords, but we're going to matrix, so that if we have an, a, a project, we have an idea, we want this. Um, we wanted to be able to understand how valuable that is compared to all of the other things that might be in the queue, and mm -hmm. so we could rank it and say, to prioritize. You know, Guilford, this is next. Mm -hmm. You know, do this one next. Town Council, this is a big one. Do this one next. So this one. Um, is that let's focus on s sidewalks all across town or let's focus on crosswalks or is it focusing on one particular sidewalk or one particular crosswalk for some reason that the, you should prioritize this one at this time? This tool is for this piece of sidewalk for that crosswalk. Okay. Um, there are other projects that we're trying to, that we're working on, uh, like understanding what all of the sidewalks, what, what mm -hmm. sidewalks do we need and where in the existing sidewalk okay. network are there deficiencies? Where is it missing? Mm -hmm. Where is it poorly maintained? Where um, do people really use it and would use it if it was repaired or existed? So we try, that's a different sort mm -hmm. of long, but there's mm -hmm. the, the short term, you know, hey, I need, um, and so those individual short-term projects can inform the broader policy in that particular category because you start to see patterns of where people are looking for sidewalks or crosswalks or the types of problems that have been c c consistently communicated with regard to the viability of how our, si our crosswalks are constructed 
et cetera, et cetera. Right. So those small pieces, you can fix one thing at a time, but while you're doing that, you're also aggregating the information that helps you figure out what the town's well, overall vision or policy should be for that area. Is that a fair well, way to summarize it? That's a fair it? way of summarizing it. Okay. And, and the idea is that um, this little piece becomes a priority if it's really moving us in the direction that we want to go. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, some things might be valuable in and of, of themselves, but it helps if they're part of a bigger piece, like, you know, a, a, like a, a, a fund request or, you know, grant request. Mm -hmm. um, or, hey, you know, this, this little piece in the sidewalk will make it easier for students to walk to this school. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a, yeah. you know, it becomes a priority in the, in the long range of things. So. Mm -hmm. And so people bring you these ideas all the time and you're trying to create a portal for them to know exactly where to go to bring you these ideas? Is that part well, of what's going exactly. on there? Exactly. Okay. The, the idea. So one of the exciting things about committee work, and I'm not sure how many people can get excited about committee work, because it is hard work, but it, it's <laughs> very, it, it can be exciting and uh, very engaging, is that when these things come to us, um, we are, we're in a very good place, and, and, and every committee in their own way has the same place. We're in a very good place to understand, well, trends, sort of, sort of assemble community values, and, and really begin to make our, give our advice, sort of, you know, that will move us in a good direction. And if, one of the things that we've noticed um, is that, um, um, and, and it's, this is, you know, seems very simple to say it, but it's, I think it's not said enough, is that where things are changing, the transportation network has to change. Okay, mm -hmm. duh. Um, the, and, and what has been recurring um, in, in our meetings is that where there are, where there is new development, where there are new houses there, now there are students who are going to school from a new place that there, where there hadn't been houses mm -hmm. before. And so now we need to begin to think about, you know, is this the right place for the bus stop? Should there be a crosswalk there or a light or a roundabout mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. else? So that's all, that's exciting. That's kind of, it's, it's interesting to watch that and to engage my colleagues on the, on the committee in, in figuring it out. And then, and then again with anybody who said, anybody who comes to our meeting, of course, we, we try to engage. You with guys spend a lot of time with maps? We spend a lot, a lot of, time of time with drawing maps, things, and we spend a lot of time with 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 graphs and mm -hmm. matrices, and mm -hmm. and, um, um, and we spend some time with the engineering manuals for um, roadways, Ashto, and Ashto, and, and, all and of those. sign regulations, yeah. and all of that kind of stuff, and trying to pull it together ultimately to prioritize, um, you know, so again, those ideas that come to us. How, how, what, what one goes first and why? And that's, the why is very important because um, um, you know, really, you know, fact-based, sort of fundamental understanding of what we need is what we're yeah. trying to get to. And, and so in, in, in most towns, when you see a pothole and you're really ticked off about it, you either call the town administrator, <laughs> the, the, you call the mayor, or you call your town councilor. Um, so, like, people are calling you saying, can you fix my pothole? Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> no, so, um, I just want to say to everybody, if, if you have a question <laughs> for the Transportation Committee, um, just, to, you know, to send a note to the Public Works Group, I think, I don't know our email address, I, I have to apologize for that. They can find it online. They can find the, it online. Yeah, at and, the town website. Um, basically, um, you know, we're happy to, to address any note that we get. The vast majority of them really don't need us or not appropriate for us mm -hmm. to have. Potholes. No, we don't do no, potholes. Not that, our department. A, not, not our department. <laughs> um, we, but a stop sign might be. A stop sign might be. Mm -hmm. uh, and it turns out stop signs are much more complicated than one could imagine. Right. It really is a safety device. Yeah. And, and But if know, somebody calls you about a stop sign, what what you're doing is looking at it, thinking about blah, 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 and then you go and you talk with with the DPW, because ultimately it's not your decision whether there should be a stop sign, but you might have some valuable input for the DPW as they consider the competing requests for stop signs. And, and I'm relying on the DPW to, 
you know, get Help this inform. note and say, this is a pothole, yeah. we're not going to bring that to the meeting. Yeah. Oh, this is a stop sign, we got, need to think about this. Right. Um, here's a report of speeding. Uh, is your committee is staffed? It, it, um, I am very appreciative to the town manager for the staff that we get. We okay. have um, Guilford Mooring sits with us yeah. and Chris Bestrup sits with Great. us. And I think that's a recognition. Two good people. Two great people. And also, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I you know, appreciate the recognition that transportation does affect sort of the daily operations, what Public yeah. Works is doing. Not the potholes specifically, but where the curb is going to be installed to repave this piece of road. Mm -hmm. And um, as the town grows and changes, it really is pl there are planning aspects. And so both of them bring us, you know, very valuable resources to help us understand and to prioritize projects and to create these guidelines. So yes, if you have a crosswalk, this is how you do it. Where does the TAC fit into, with regard to the discussion on parking and parking garages? Um, not easily. So parking. Are you in that picture? We're, in that debate? We're not really. Um, there's, while our charge includes parking, um, our sense is that it does not include parking downtown because that's very separate. That's not a transportation issue so okay. much as a logistics commercial issue. Um, sort of beyond the boundary of, of the downtown and, and maybe out of, outside of the town centers. Um, we imagine that there would be a role for us to talk about parking, and in fact, I hope to engage uh, in that a little bit, mm -hmm. um, where especially where parking interferes with bicycle routes or, or, or um, a pedestrian. There's some mm -hmm. some tension there. Um, but so yeah, we're we're that's that's a little bit beyond us. Um, <clears throat> so you're on the edge of that conversation, but you're not you, you're not like. Avoiding it completely, you you realize there's some connection. Yeah, we're looking. But it's we're watching. not. It's we're not your. It's not at the heart of your work. It, it's, it's, but yes, you it's you have something to. You can have something to say about it along the way. And we may. Yeah. And you may because yeah. it does affect our ability to integrate our transportation networks, as you the call five. them <laughs> at the beginning, the five. Yeah. So, um, in the few minutes we have left, can you? I know this is probably going to be hard, but can you pick <laughs> one or two things that you think are the most critical things that we need as a community to think about in relation to our transportation? Because, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, um, climate change, we got to get rid of those cars, we got to get rid of those um, uh, things that are polluting our atmosphere, and there are choices to be made. You know, um, electric buses are a great idea, but not all buses are electric. Right. Well, the um, so the transportation side, it's a little bit difficult um, to engage with the, the environment side. Really, uh -huh. it's about getting from point A to point B. And yeah. yes, but there um, are values inherent in that conversation. Uh, very much, and and in any way that we can support, for instance, keeping a tree alive, uh -huh. um, in with a design change, <laughs> that's that's good. Or you know, improve the amount of time it takes to cross an intersection. <coughs> um, that's, you know, we're all for that. And I certainly support the idea of converting to electric vehicles or even <coughs> making a way for shared um, devices, um, um, bicycles, for instance. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Have some water. Oh, that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. But um, I know our, our viewers think it's <coughs> vodka, but it really it, is, it is water. Vodka. I mean, that's all. <laughs> you were not supposed to give that up. <laughs> The um, <laughs> our number one our number one concern is safety is the safety of uh -huh. of the networks not only for the individual for the the car or the bus or the truck or <clears throat> the bicycle or the pedestrian but also where they cross and so um, that's that's paramount and then then comes um, very close is also the utility of it you know it really does need to do what we need it to do it needs to make it easy for us to get from here to there. Whether we're walking our dog, doing something recreational, whether we're walking downtown, because we'd really rather leave our purpose. car at home. Yeah. Whether, you know, we're gonna hop on a bicycle and, and you know, ride this stretch on the bicycle instead. <clears throat> that That's all very important. And we, a big part of our, ad, our, our work is advocacy for improving and making more attractive the non-automobile transportation, bikes and walking. Really, if we can do that, 
we solve a lot of transportation problems. You know, bikes take up much less room than cars. You know, now we have room for other yeah. things in that, that way. So, and that would be an environmental thing. It's also, it turns out, um, a huge health benefit, you know, in this day and age when we're worried about our health and obesity mm -hmm. and all, to have um, a place that encourages walking to go mm -hmm. about your daily, you know, chores. <clears throat> And that's very valuable. So Walking that's a or bicycling, over. both of which are good for your health. <coughs> and sort of as a side benefit to that, if, if it's a good place to walk or ride your bike, it's probably going to be handicapped accessible. So people who have limited mobility should be able to use those as well. Mm -hmm. And if they're well designed, you know, the handles can be done. everybody. Yeah. Great. And we really are interested in at getting everybody out there. So we got a little over a minute left. Do you oh, have no. a final point that you would really like to drive home that uh, we haven't uh, emphasized enough for you? <laughs> oh, yes, hundreds of them. No, re re really in short, you know, keep your cards <coughs> and letters coming. Do be in, in touch with us. Come to our meetings. Um, join committees. Yeah, it's, it's, committee work can be exciting. And um, Are there any openings <coughs> on your committee if anybody wants to do that? Not at the moment. Uh, um, there are plenty of other committees. Any for rotation other coming up? Uh, uh, yes, it will be in June. Um, <coughs> I, I don't remember exactly if it's one okay. or two or three slots that open okay. up in June. So if you're interested, uh, you could fill out, fill out an application. Yep. And, and who knows, you uh, <coughs> might find that uh, one of the existing committee members has decided that they're Enough ready to move on to <laughs> something else, and uh, and so there may be a vacancy or two. There you go. Well, that'd be great. Well, thank you so much for coming on and well, and sharing you. your enthusiasm for <laughs> transportation, thinking and planning here in town. And uh, you know, who thought it could be so exciting <clears throat> and so engaging? Well, thank you for <laughs> making it so. Well, and uh, keep my up the good work. Well, thank and thanks you. for joining us. <laughs>